we're celebrating 365 days of being homeless, or rather, houseless. We are Blake and Cassie, and the last year has been the most exciting time of our lives. Not only have we been traveling the United States in our short school bus, we also moved in together for the first time and left our home state of Ohio without a plan but to see the world. This journey started with me, Cassie. I didn't get the college experience of my dreams, and as any lost and confused 20-year-old does, I had a quarter-life crisis, and I bought this cute mini school bus with a dream to travel and learn about myself in the cheapest way possible. Luckily, I had Blake by my side, probably the most supportive and dedicated partner. So dedicated that he decided to make bus life his dream too, and we chose to take on this project together. So we built out this bus, having no experience and no money. We used as much free and recycled materials as possible and spent our last year in college at Blake's parents' house grinding out the build until January 5th of 2022. On this day, we rolled out of my mom's driveway with no plan, even on where we'd sleep that night. We had a few thousand dollars to our name and felt invincible. After a severe snowstorm and a lot of Walmart parking lots, we finally made it to our first major stop, Big Bend National Park. Before leaving, we were gifted a basic camera to record our adventures, a Canon T7 to be exact. Neither of us had any photography experience, so the Wild West was a perfect place to try it out. Camping on public land out west gave us the freedom and excitement we were looking for. We made our first true nomadic friends in Sedona and named our bus after the area. We went on some crazy adventures like dancing at a drum circle and rock climbing the red rocks. After driving straight south and straight west from Ohio, we finally made it to Utah, a state we've looked forward to. We did the famous Big Five National Park loop, starting with Zion, where we won the lottery to hike the chains on Angel's Landing. We hiked with our new friends Hunter and Hannah, which was an incredible experience. They even took us on a celebratory drive through the park in their Volkswagen bus. Next was Bryce Canyon, which was Cassie's favorite national park of the loop. The hoodoos and spires were so strange and abstract, it was the epitome of Utah. Capitol Reef wowed us with the bentonite hills and super dark skies. This is where we attempted our first astro photos of the Milky Way. We only spent a day in Canyonlands, but the petroglyphs and bighorn sheep were the highlights. This is where we took some of our first wildlife shots. Arches is the last major stop in southern Utah. We took a big challenge to hike every major trail in the park, amounting to 16 miles in one day. Within these parks, we settled into our new nomadic lifestyle. We practiced our photography and even upgraded our camera to a Sony A7C. We learned a little bit about astrophotography, wildlife photography, and capturing the moments we were living. Right as we were getting comfortable and thriving in Sedona the bus, we had a major downfall. As we were leaving Arches National Park, our engine threw a rod and completely broke. We were stranded on the side of the road in very rural Utah. The last few months on the road, we had quickly learned that mechanical errors were a natural part of living in a vehicle. Our home was going places further and crazier than most people had ever been, but we knew this issue was serious. In short, we were quoted $11,000 for a new engine to get back on the road, or sell the bus as is and give up this lifestyle. We'd like to say that the decision to keep the bus was easy, but it was not. We flew home and debated selling the bus, even wrote up an ad for it. It made us question if bus life was really the best life for us. After thinking a lot about what living on the road had given us in just five short months, we spent most of the money we had to keep living our dream. 
we found a home base in Bend, Oregon, where we struggled to find our path in making money to support our travels. We started a clothing brand, did Craigslist gigs, worked events, even worked nine to five jobs at a brewery. After being quickly reminded how much we hate the nine to five world, we chose to fully commit to pursuing and monetizing our photography and videography skills. We created a business and taught ourselves how to stop shooting in automated settings and began perfecting our craft. This commitment to ourselves and our business has opened up so many doors for us. We're now sharing our travel journey with others, finding like-minded nomads, and truly thriving in our crazy lifestyle. The nomad community and kind people that we have met on the road has motivated us to continue living and enjoying this lifestyle, which can be stressful and exhausting a lot of the time. Our little bus has introduced us to so many walks of life and experiences that we never could have been connected to otherwise. As plenty of van lifers do, we spend the last four months of the year chasing warm weather through the sunny state of California. Cali has been the perfect place to unwind and explore after our financial fiasco. We broke in the new engine pretty quickly, starting in the Redwoods. We drove south to San Francisco where we picked up our friends to hike Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. This is by far the hardest hike of our lives and we documented the whole experience in another video. From there, we spent a month in Lake Tahoe chasing and photographing wildlife. I most definitely fell in love with the bears. When it got cold, we left and saw some more big trees in Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. Then we tackled the Los Angeles traffic to end up where we are now, Joshua Tree National Park. Our last month of the year, we spent celebrating the holidays with 50 of our new best friends in Joshua Tree. Here, we learned more about astrophotography, the environment, and how the nomad community comes together, sometimes in the form of an impromptu desert rave. Don't worry, our next video will show you what that looks like. Since beginning life in our home on wheels one year ago, we have traveled to 18 states. Nineteen national parks. And 18,000 miles. Each mile on the road has been a mile of growth, discovery, and adventure. We could not feel more lucky, grateful, and proud to be living this life, and we are so excited to share this next year of adventure with you.